My name's Kerry and welcome to another episode of Beardy Mixology. Now today's episode is going to be a little bit different from usual. Um, I'm not focusing on a particular cocktail. I'm doing a group of drinks really. And th these drinks are ones that were popular or apparently were popular many, many years ago, but aren't so popular nowadays. So I'm going to try them. I don't even know the actual recipes for, well, the exact recipes for a lot of them. So I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to try them and see is there a reason why they're not very popular anymore. Because honestly, these drinks, you, you never hear many people, I've never heard many people order them or seen people drink them in a pub. So we're going to give them a go and see what they're like. So what's the inspiration for this video? Well, a couple of months ago, I went on holiday. One night, I offered to buy and had a drink. He doesn't drink very often, glass of wine at Christmas, whatever, yeah. But he, he ordered one of these drinks. The barman had never heard of it. I'd heard of it, but, you know, only because I knew my dad drank them years ago. So it got me thinking, what other drinks are there out there that people used to, used to be popular, used to be trendy, but people don't drink anymore. So I found a, a forum or something on the internet where people were reminiscing about the nightclubs in the 1970s and 80s and whatever, yeah. And, talking about what drinks they had and everything. So I picked a couple from there, and that's where we are. So let's start with the first one. So the first one is my dad's drink of choice, and that is a rum and pep. Rum and peppermint cordial. Yeah, weird, isn't it? So I bought some peppermint cordial. Very hard to find in the shops. Um, Schweppes as a brand, can't find it anyway. Um, this, just just cordial, just swash, costs as much as an all right bottle of wine, about eight quid. So I'm sure I'm never gonna use it again after this. So yeah, rum and pep, basically, oh, that's brandy, a shot of rum and an equal measure of peppermint cordial. So I'm gonna go, we'll go for like, Old, old style pub, UK pub measurements, about 25 mil of the rum. And then we'll just put equal measurements of the peppermint cordial in. Like toothpaste really. It's all right, I suppose. Same again, 25 mil. Now I think I'm gonna put just a couple of cubes of ice in it just to chill it down a bit because I think it might be a little bit too what's concentrated that's the word I'll try to look for without it so we'll uh, give it a stir to find my swizzler just to cool it down a little bit I've not got a lot of oak for this one if I'm honest with you don't know why. Doesn't sound very appealing, but my dad likes it, so can't be that bad. So there we go. So let's just give it a try. That's not bad, actually. I could drink that. It's not as intense as I thought it was going to be. It is like mouthwash. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, it is a bit like mouthwash, but. I thought that was going to be a lot more unpleasant than it is. The, uh, the peppermint cordial is sweet as well as minty. Can't go wrong with Havana Club, this stuff, very nice. Yeah, that's alright actually. Um, it is only a very short drink, so it's a sipper I suppose. You won't, you won't be nailing these one after the other. I don't think I could drink too many of them. It is quite sickly, to be honest with you. But, yeah, why has that gone out of fashion? That's all right. That's okay. There's a digestif or whatever it is after your meal. That's, that's nothing wrong with that. So, rum and pep. I give that a six and a half out of ten. It's not amazing, but I, don't, I can't see why that's been consigned to the... Uh, dustbin of cocktails 
yeah, that's all right. Rum and peppermint. Give it a try. If you can find the, the peppermint cordial, give it a try. Probably won't recommend uh, blasting seven or eight quid on one, but if you find a bottle for a quid or two, worth it. Rum and peppermint, number one.